Hey everybody, it's Peggy again with Savvy Minerals, uh, Savvy Squad and Real Essentials. I have been doing my, my makeup today and my hair is still drying. You might see it drying a lot much more. I started with my cleansers and got my face ready. I put on my foundation, then I put on my blush, and I've put on my eyeshadows. So the next thing I would do is I would finish my eyes. I'm going to do my brows, I'm going to do my eyeliner, and I'm going to do my mascara. So um, these are some of the hardest ones to do, especially on camera, so just hang with me. And I've got to get my mascara out. Um, I'm going to do my brows first. I use this brush that's not part of our Savvy uh, line. It's not part of our Savvy brushes. It is an angle brush. It's stiff. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get it closer. Yeah, you can. It's kind of stiff. And I have mixed in a lid. Um, I've mixed my Warm 3, which my foundation color was Warm 3 mixed with Warm 2. So I mixed Warm 3 with a little bit of the Multitasker because um, if you can see, you can't see that I have brows. <laughs> I do have brows but they're very blonde and so just the multitasker on its own was way too dark. You could use um, a foundation that's a couple of maybe darker than the one that you use or you could do what I do and just add a little Savvy min Minerals, uh, sorry, the multitasker in Savvy Minerals to your foundation and that might give you just enough. Just mix it in real well. So I've picked up dry, I've picked up those minerals onto my brush and then I'm just going to go and follow my eyebrow line and apply those minerals. Okay, you can see a difference in my eyebrows right now. For once, you can see this one. Um, and just hang on, it appears a little bit darker right now. If I walked out, it'd be very odd. Um, I'm going to do the other one. See if you can see that. And I'm just following, kind of brushing, like I'm almost like I was just using a brush on my brows. Which, by the way, there is kind of a very classic brow brush. And I will usually go back over all of that with that brush and kind of just brush it so it doesn't look unnatural. It doesn't look like those that makeup is just sitting right on top of my face. So I will brush those out. So now you can see that I have brows and that's how easy it is to do your brows. Um, the next thing I would do is my eyeliner. Um, there are different brushes. I'm looking sorry for them. There are different brushes you can use. We don't have an eyeliner brush in the Savvy Minerals. You could use a brush like this. It's similar to what I used before but it's got a very very thin point at the end if you can see that. Very very narrow um, and that you could use dry or wet you could pick up your minerals and put them on as eyeliner what I've been using though that I like the most is a lip brush and it looks like a little paintbrush it's just very thin at the ends if you can see that and I'm just going to tap a little bit of my multitasker into my lid now there is a um, there is a liner color called Jet Setter in the Savvy Minerals line, and it is black. That's a little bit too dark for me. So I'm using the Multitasker, which is brown. And I've got it in my lid, just got a little bit. It's kind of around the edges right now. You can barely even see I've got any. You don't need much, I don't need much. And then I'm gonna mist right into the lid. This is the only time I do this, personally. Put that, I misted one time, and then I'm gonna take my brush. If you can see that, let me get the direction there you go and I'm just mixing it together just finding the minerals in that liquid and I'm mixing it into a liquid that I'm going to use on my eyes and that was just one time misting it looks very like liquefied and very weak and it's going to work just fine okay so I've got that on the ends of my brush and bear with me. Putting on eyeliner is um, M M Melissa Pepping, the creator of Savvy Minerals, actually said eyeliner senses your fear. So um, keeping that in mind and also understand this takes practice. Uh, it also takes just relaxing, be careful, but not overly careful. And if you do make a mistake, it can be undone. So I like using this because it's very thin. If you notice, you can't see that I have eyelashes because mine are blonde. So I can't use a really thick line or it looks, it would look har harsh on me. If you have really thick lashes and really dark lashes, you can go with a thicker eyeliner line. Just play with it and get what you want. I am doing it liquid, I'm not doing it dry. So bear with me 
and I'll see if I can do this. I will hold my head back so that I don't crease my brow. I try to do that with my shadows, try to do that mascara, um, but you'll see me creasing. I don't mean to, I try not to. Okay, so I, with it very, very liquid, my hand is resting on my face. Can you see that? My hand is resting on my face. It looks strange when I do that, but it gives me that brace and I have to stop talking. Looking down. Okay, can you see that that's on there? It's different than the other eye. That's how simple it was. It does, does take a little practice. And doing it in front of you guys isn't easy, so just bear with me. I am trying to go into the corner, but you notice I don't even start in the inside usually. I start kind of in the middle and work out and then come together. Um, just, oops, sorry, just work it. Fill in till you like it. Come all the way out, come all the way into the inside, go all the way out to the outside is the way I do it. Can you see that on my eyes? Okay, now I'm gonna do the bottom going under my lashes. I'm gonna tilt my head down to get those lashes off. See if I can, if you can see me. And just paint a very thin line, in my case. Then I'm going to connect them in the corner. Maybe bring it out a little bit like I'm extending my lash line a little bit. And there you go. So now I'm getting more of the liquid on my brush so I can do my other eye. Oh, and I just goofed it up because I moved. Sorry. I wanted you to be able to see and I messed it up. Okay, so that's not bad because I can show you how to undo. If you can see what I ended up doing, sorry, I'm reaching for a Q-tip. Q-tip, very fancy thing. Um, you can see I completely messed this one up. It's, it's smudged, it's in bad shape. So I'm gonna get my Q-tip wet. I just used my sink, got my Q-tip wet, and then I'm just gonna go carefully and pick up that onto my Q-tip and fix it. See? And maybe use the other side of my Q-tip. And if I needed to, I could go back with concealer and cover that up. If I did that on the top, I could take it off with wet Q-tip and then I could reapply a little bit of eyeshadow. It's really not like, don't panic. You have not ruined everything. You can fix most anything with a Q-tip. It's awesome, great little tool to have right by your sink. Okay, so I've got my eyeliner on. I would normally, if I had some tissue right here, I would take that tissue and I would clean out, actually I've got a cotton pad, sorry, I keep going off camera, and I would just take that and wipe my lid out where I had all of that liquid in there, just wiping it out, and you're gonna see when I do that, when I get it done, well, how clean it is. And I do that pretty much every time and then I also rinse off that brush because it um, was very liquid on that brush and I just rinse off the brush, you can hear me do that, and it's clean and it's ready for the next time. So, the next thing I would be doing is my mascara. I'm going to show this really fast. Um, I'm going to try to show you some steps that I do to put on my mascara that not everybody does. Um, I put a drop of lavender in my mascara when I first get it and then mix it in so I can smell the lavender and I love it. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt my head forward, forward in order to get those lower lashes off my skin. And then I just go back and forth with my wand up like this. I just go back and forth, back and forth. And pick up those lashes and you can see I'm kind of appearing 
They should be appearing right before your very eyes because now you see I actually have lashes. Now we'll do the other side. Sorry, same way. Wand is up with the tip of my brush. I just go back and forth on those lashes. It's a lot easier doing your lower lashes this way rather than trying to turn your wand sideways. And then you notice kind of at the edges, sometimes I'll just go this downward motion. I just find those lashes. Um, I have very blonde lashes that are hard to see unless I have mascara on them, but also I have some thyroid issues, so I am losing mine somewhat and I'm trying to build them back. And lavender is actually good for that. In lavender or cedarwood um, or even rosemary in your mascara, those are all really good for hair. They're really good for eyelashes. Okay, so for my upper lashes, same thing. Wand straight up like this, not sideways yet. I'll get there. Um, and I'm just going to hold my head back so that my lashes are not going to touch the top of my um, lid getting them away from that, and then I'm going to apply just on the tips of my lashes, just the tips first. Then I come down from the top, and I do the tops of my lashes. A lot of times people do that. And then I go kind of the more traditional from the bottom, but I'm also going to do this seesawing motion back and forth, not seesawing, sawing motion, back and forth, and then just grabbing those corner lashes. And like I said, before your very eyes, you can see suddenly that I actually have lashes. Look at the difference in my two eyes. Then I'm gonna do the other one the same way. I hold my head back, try not to wrinkle your forehead, and do the tips of your lashes. Then come down the tops, and then go up and do the sawing motion. It helps a couple of things. It really gets a lot of good mascara on your lashes to do the sawing motion, but it also helps separate them when they get clumped, which they tend to do. And just keep working it until you're happy with it. I have lashes. Um, if you could see the before and after, which you could go back and do, you see suddenly I have brows <laughs> that you can see, and I have uh, with the mascara, I have lashes, but also that eyeliner gives me that definition at the base of my lash. It makes your eyelash base look really, really thick. I hope that helps you to not fear this, but to work with it. You can use the eyeliner dry. You can use it wet. I used it wet. I like that little lip brush. It gives me a really fine line that I'm just painting on. The brows, I use that stiff angle brush, and I just brush them in. If you don't have an angle brush, if you have a straight brush, that'd be fine too. Just brush that eyebrow color in and maybe use that you know, more classic brush to brush them back out, you know, to make them blend in and look more natural. And then my mascara, I go wand up on the bottom, I go wand up tips sideways um, from the top, and then from the bottom and I do that sawing motion. Those are some of my tips for you for putting to finishing your eyes. I've done my eyeshadow before, and those are the three other things, the brows, the eyeliner, and the mascara, and I hope that helps. Um, let us know if you have any questions, and next thing I would be doing would be my lips.